Hey, what's up guys? Dave with Build Alpha. Um, in this video, I want to show a simple trading idea um, and how we can test it in Excel, test it in Python, and then how easy it is to actually test the same idea in Build Alpha. The idea we're going to test is if today's low is less than the low of one day ago, then buy the next open and hold for one day. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do this on the S&P 500 futures contract. Um, that is the futures contract that tracks the S&P 500 index. If you're familiar with ETFs, uh, SPY is going to be the most closely related uh, to this. Um, anyways, first things first, let's calculate the signal. Um, if today's low is less than the previous low, then that is a true signal. I just put one uh, as a little marker. Then we're going to get our returns. So if we have a signal, uh, then we're going to buy the next open. Uh, and then sell the next day. So I'm actually going to do it in this order because it is a long. And then if we don't have a signal, I just put those three dashes as a placeholder. Um, and then we're going to create our equity curve. And I'm going to say, okay, if we don't have any returns for this period, uh, give me the previous value of the equity curve. If not, give me the previous value plus the returns uh, for this period. Uh, one more thing in Excel you need to check is if you have enough data. So for here, we have a trade uh, signal. We buy this, and then we would sell this open. But since we don't have it yet, um, I'm just going to go ahead and block this one out. So now we should be able to view our equity curve in Excel. Okay, great. Now remember, these are just points. Um, multiply these by 50 to get the actual value. Uh, that is the multiplier for the S&P 500 futures contract. Now I'm going to do the same exact thing in Python. First, I'm going to import the libraries I need. Then I'm going to read in the same data file. And then we're going to calculate the same two things that we did in Py or Excel. We're going to do it in Python. Um, so the first things first is the signal. Then we need to calculate the returns. And then we need our results, which is just going to be um, the signal multiplied by the returns. And then we're going to plot this. Uh, remember, when we have plot this, we actually need um, the cumulative values. So that way we can view it as an equity curve. And then we're just going to run this. It's going to prompt me to save. And I'm just going to do uh, a YouTube test. And you can see, OK, same results as Excel, more or less complicated, up to you. Uh, but now I want to show you how to do the exact same system in Build Alpha. Um, so I'm just going to pull that up. And all we're going to do is we're going to make sure we have no signal selected. Come down to the low. Remember, we need if today's low is less than the previous low. Um, got this set. Max holding time at 1. Go ahead and hit simulate. And just like that, uh, much, much easier. can see the same exact results already converted into dollars, uh, real P&L. So again, this strategy itself is very simple. It's not perfect. You're obviously going to want to add some filters, add some signals to it, um, add some rules to it. To do that in Excel, it's going to be a little more complicated. To do that in Python, you have to write more code. Um, to do that in Build Alpha, it's, you can either right-click and add a rule, or you can actually go back to the main screen um, and click on any of these other rules. You know, there's over 5,000 built in. Um, intermarkets, you know, RSI, MACD, price action, volume, you name it, all one mouse click away. Um, so again, I hope this helps. Uh, hopefully you learned a little bit of Python um, and hopefully you understand how easy it is to test things uh, in Build Alpha. Thanks, guys.